Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. So today we are gonna be changing up the pace a little bit. I'm excited because we're gonna be sitting down, talking and chit chatting a little bit, but we're also gonna be doing something I've never really done on my channel before. Today we are gonna be doing an anti-haul as well as my wish list. I decided to incorporate that in today's video as well. So I hope you guys enjoy it. This is a change of pace for me, it's something different. I've seen these videos many, many times before, but I've never really done them myself. I just feel like now is the most appropriate time to do so. A lot of us aren't out buying makeup and I could understand because makeup isn't necessarily a priority right now, but I decided to do this video because I figured I would give you guys an insight as to the things that I'm planning on purchasing and the things that I have no interest in. Nothing personal against the brands, of course, and if you guys want to purchase these products, that is okay as well. As we all know, we all differ in opinion when it comes to makeup or anything else for that matter. So with that being said, we are just gonna jump right in to today's video. So I have my phone and I'm ready to start. Now I have seen a video or two you know, on anti-hauls, but I've never really got into them like that to kind of know exactly how you're supposed to do it. So I'm gonna kind of do this my own way and just take my own take on it. I'm gonna go into both the Sephora app and the Ulta app, and I'm gonna talk about 10 items from each just because I don't want this video to be too long. So we are gonna start with the Sephora app, and the first thing on the list is the ABH Norvina Pro Pigment Palette. This is the volume four palette, and it does retail for $60. Now the colors in this palette are very beautiful. They scream spring and possibly summer, and I think it's a great palette. ABH shadows are one of the best high-end shadows, in my opinion. I love their palettes. They did have some mishaps along the way, but that's with any brand. Um, but this palette does look promising, so I will be putting this first product on my wish list. Now, I have to be really interested and invested in a product or brand for that matter to want to spend $60 on an eyeshadow palette realistically, like just being honest, but I do love ABH shadows and I really love the color story in this palette. Then we have the Charlotte Tilbury. This is their mini pillow talk lipstick and liner set. Now, first of all, it's mini. Second, it's nude. And I have tons and tons of nude lipsticks and lip liners for that matter. And I just honestly don't need or necessarily need any more. So I'm not gonna spend $20 on a mini. And although this nude shade is a very pretty, I'm not gonna buy it because I wanna kind of branch out and just get more lip colors and lip liners that are not nude, especially the pinky nude. I have so many pinky nude lipsticks, lip glosses, etc. cetera. I, I just don't need any more. Next is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. Now this item right here is definitely on my wish list. I've been looking into this and I've seen it many, many times and I'm very interested in purchasing it. I do love the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, which is this right here. This is like my third purchase of this and I just am obsessed with it. But I do want to give the Summer Fridays one a try because I love Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask as well as some other products from them. And I figured why not. So $22 for a 0.5 ounce little tube. I'm going to do it. So it's on my wish list because I definitely want to try this out. Next is the ABH Mini Spring Lip Gloss Set. Now, as you guys can see, again, very nude shades, and I love the array of shades, but again, I have too many nudes to be out here trying to spend more money on nudes. Even though that's what I love, I'm really trying to work hard to not, you know, feel the peer pressure of wanting to get it, but again, I have way too many nudes. And on top of that, I'm not really crazy about the ABH formula when it comes to their lip glosses and liquid lipsticks. It's just not my favorite, so I'm just gonna simply pass on this product. Next, we have the Hourglass Veil Setting Spray. Now, this setting spray is something that caught my eye and I'm a sucker for packaging. It's very simple, but it's black and white and it's just, I don't know, it's something about Hourglass that I love. I love their foundation stick, I love their concealer, and I really do want to try this setting spray. Although there is another one that I'm interested in, which we will get to shortly, 
Um, I do want to say that this is definitely on my wish list. It says that it has an ultra fine water resistant mist, which I'm definitely interested in trying. And um, again, just the packaging. I am a sucker for packaging. So this is on my wish list for sure. Next, we have the NARS Orgasm and Cheek Blush Palette. Now I have a mini orgasm blush and it's a very nice pinky pink for the cheeks, which I use more when I'm wearing more pink. Honestly, I could have probably put it on today, but I decided to use something else. Um, this blush palette doesn't really capture me uh, too much. I'm not really feeling it. It does look like it has shimmer in it. So if you're into shimmer, I would definitely suggest get this, but I'm not really like crazy about it. The packaging is beautiful. NARS has some really bomb packaging and I'm obsessed with their packaging. And half the time, the items that I buy is because I love the packaging. But I will be passing on this specific cheek palette. I know it's limited edition, but I'm just not, I'm not feeling it. This next brand is a brand I haven't really heard of until now, but this is the Ilia Night Light Bronzing Powder. I am interested in purchasing this, so this will be on my wish list. I remember the days when I would only use the Makeup Revolution bronzer. It was like a baked bronzer and I don't exactly remember the name. I don't think I have it in my collection anymore, but I was obsessed with that and that was the only bronzer I would use. Now I just feel like I'm just spreading my wings and using new bronzers left and right and I'm happy about it. But I'm definitely gonna try this one, not for any specific reason other than the fact that I feel like this shade looks very pretty and I've never heard of the brand before so I do want to give it a try. It does retail for $34, but $34 I shall spend, which seems pretty reasonable for a bronzer, a high-end bronzer at that. Next we have a bougie product, if you will. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Luxury Eyeshadow Palette. Now this has four shadows in it, as you guys can see, and they are all stunning and beautiful, but it is not something that I'm going to spend my money on. I don't buy Charlotte Tilbury anything, not for any other reason other than I just don't feel the need to spend that much money on makeup. When you can find more affordable products that are similar, may not be exactly the same, but similar for a cheaper price point. So I'm just simply gonna pass on this palette. Not only that, but it also has a lot of like neutral nude gold bronzy tones, which I am attracted to, but again, I have plenty in my collection, so there's no need for me to buy even more. So I am going to pass on this. Next, we have NARS. Again, NARS has some bomb packaging, and I do love the packaging of this right here. This is the Laguna Bronzer, and it is a powder bronzer, but it has a gold spray on the bottom portion of it. Now this is a jumbo size and it does retail for $45. Although I love NARS and I love the Laguna bronzer, I'm not gonna be purchasing this one because I'm kind of afraid of the gold's overspray on it. I feel like it's gonna be more of like a shimmery bronzer, but it's also gonna like be like chunks of glitter. I mean, obviously I don't know because I've never used the product, but I'm not gonna go spend $45 on a bronzer that I'm not completely sure about. And especially now where we can't swatch things or try things in store, it makes it that much more harder to decide or to gain the strength to want to buy something like that, if that makes sense. Like, no, I'm not going to do it. So I'm simply going to pass on this, although it looks pretty. I'm gonna pass. Now for the last two products from Sephora that are new. I have both from the same brand, Fenty Beauty. So the first one is her Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Blush. Now I have seen reviews on this and I've seen people use it because again, I've taken my time and I haven't purchased it yet, but I'm very interested in trying out these cream blushes. There's actually a few shades that I wanna try. She does have quite the selection. Uh, one in particular is the one you guys see right now, which is Fuego Flush. I'm definitely interested in trying that one. I love me like a nice orange toned kind of blush. And from what I've seen, it's not as harsh on the skin as it is in the pan. So I'm definitely interested in trying out that. Also, I've kind of come into using cream blushes a little bit more ever since my drugstore find when I tried out a drugstore cream blush. So I'm kind of into cream blushes now. 
So that's like a thing for me. So it's definitely on my wish list. And also on my wish list is the Fenty Beauty What It Do Makeup Refreshing Spray. So I'm definitely gonna be trying that out as well. I heard it smells really good. I heard the fine, uh, the mist is very fine. So I really wanna try it out. And that again is on my wish list, both of those products. And side note, on her Instagram or Fenty Beauty's uh, Instagram, I believe they did announce that Fenty Beauty was going to also include skincare very soon. So I'm interested to see the products that will be dropping for that. So I'm definitely going to keep my eye out because I want to see. I don't know if I'm going to purchase anything yet, but I definitely want to see what they come up with and what they're going to come out with. Now we are going to move on to the Ulta app and I have about nine products to talk about from this app and the first one is the MAC Bronzer Foiled Eyeshadow. Now this right here, um, the image itself looks, eh, it doesn't really look that impressive to be honest and I don't really know what they mean by a bronzer foiled eyeshadow. I know the eyeshadow is obviously foiled in some way but what does the bronzer part have to do with it? Is it a bronzer or is it an eyeshadow or is it a bronzer shade that's an eyeshadow? I don't know but I'm not really interested in it. It doesn't really, capture my eye the one that we're looking at right now is called golden and it doesn't really look golden to me it looks more bronze than anything but again i will be passing on this item right here next we have the tarte confessions of a man eater eye and cheek palette i do have the man eater palette which i do love and i love to use one of the shades in that palette for my brows from time to time but this palette right here does not seem interesting whatsoever so i'm definitely going to pass on this it just i don't know it doesn't speak to me again like i said i do own the original like man eater palette but this one right here i'm not feeling so the next product is from buxom it's their staycation vibes primer infused bronzer and it retails for 28 dollars now this is something i am interested in just because of the primer infused part i definitely want to give this bronzer a try i know i have a bronzer already on my wish list but i'm going to add this one as well and the one that we're looking at is golden bronze and i think that would be the better shade for me because i think the other one is a little bit too dark so I wanna try this out, I wanna see what it's about, so it's definitely gonna go on my wish list. Next we have Tarte's Maracuja Miracle Mist Setting Spray. Now because I've already got two setting sprays on my wish list, I'm not gonna add this one because I mean, I don't need that many setting sprays. Um, I have a few as it is and adding three instead of two is probably a bit overboard. So I'm just gonna simply pass on this one. Um, nothing about this really intrigues me anyway. And I much rather prefer the other two that I put on my wish list versus this one. But if you're interested in it, it is new and it retails for $23. Next we have KKW Beauty. I've never purchased anything from her brand as well. I did wanna purchase her lip liners, but they were always like out of stock for the shade that I wanted. This is her Forever Highlighter. It does look a little light for me, so for that I will pass. I'm pretty sure it will be beautiful in pigment, but again, I just feel like the shade and how it appears like online just seeing it, it just looks like it's gonna be way too light. I would probably just only be able to use this highlighter for like an inner corner pop or brow bone kind of highlight, but I won't be able to necessarily use it all over my face because it is so light. So I'm just gonna simply pass on it. But we also have from her, her eyeshadow palette. This is a newer palette. It is neutral tones, as you guys can see. And again, I have plenty of neutral tones in my uh, makeup drawers of eyeshadows with neutral colors in it. And I'm pretty sure I can find every one of these shades in you know, my eyeshadow collection that I've already got. So I'm just gonna simply pass on this as well. Next we have from ColourPop, this is their All Things Equinox Eyeshadow Palette. Is it Equinox or Equinox? I'm not sure. It sounds better when I say Equinox. But anyways, this is the palette. It's very pretty. ColourPop does have some really bomb eyeshadow palettes. They do have some like any other brand that are kind of like a miss, but for the most part, their shadows are on point, especially for the drugstore. I am gonna put this on my wish list because I don't have too many purples in my collection, and I really like the array of shades in here. 
some pull more cool tone and that's okay um, so I'm definitely gonna add this to my wish list because again I love ColourPop shadows their palettes are very trustworthy and again I don't have too many purples in my collection so why not I also have here the honest beauty cream cheek blush Again, as I said before, I am getting more and more into cream blushes, so I definitely want to try this out, especially because I have never tried anything from Honest Beauty before, and I think I am going to go ahead and add the Peony Pink, which is a pinky pink, a peachy pink to my wish list because that shade intrigues me most. There are two different um, shades. There's a neutral pink and then there's the peachy pink and I love me a peachy toned blush so I do wanna give this a go as well. All right, you guys, so after all of my talking, we are finally finished with today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's probably not the normal anti-haul that people do, but this is just what I decided to do and how I decided to do it. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I didn't bore you. I tried to pick as many products as I could, but I did not want to make this video too long. Like I really didn't because I could sit here and talk for forever. Like I know it, you guys should know it. Like I'm a talker. See, look at me talking. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Definitely make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to leave a little comment down below. Let me know if you made it to the end of today's video. Let me know also down below in the comments what products from today's video you will be purchasing and one product you will not be purchasing. I love you all. I hope you guys are staying safe and I will see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.